Hi, my name's Dave O'Neill. I'm a geologist at MathTech Edinburgh office. And I just want to introduce a tool to you, which you may not be aware of, which exists as part of the core functionality of Vulkan. So the, the benefit of using this tool is that I can visualize or pull in data that's external to Vulkan, which might exist in, in databases that somebody else has generated. And I can use that to dynamically update what I'm seeing in Vulkan. So in this case, I've used that data to dynamically update labels, which show me how much is remaining on my stockpile, and also to dynamically update my equipment positions, especially with coordinates of all of my equipment. I'll start by showing you the sort of final result. So I've basically got some design layers here showing my stockpiles and my equipment. In this case, I've also set up a custom user menu, which calls up a macro. And that macro is me running the intelligent objects. In this case, if I click this, it will update the position of my equipment. So we can see where it actually is currently in the pit. I've also got a setup for data tips. So as I hover over my stockpiles there, I get an up-to-date data tip of how many tons I've got and what material is in that stockpile. So how did I set this up? Firstly, outside of Vulkan, I made an ODBC connection to two Excel databases. In this case, it's just two Excel sheets here, one for location and one for tonnage on each ROM pad. So it's pretty simple. Each one's got a unique equipment name, position XYZ. Similar for my ROM tonnage. Got a unique name, tonnage, and then the time the tonnage was taken from. And then I went into design, intelligent objects, intelligent object editor. And I've set up two different types. Firstly, if I look at one I've called shovel here. My data source, that's my shovel ODBC connection. If I go to types, I've said retrieve attributes from database. Then for select, I've pointed at the XYZ columns and typed in lowercase XYZ. I've then pointed at the sheets which it's reading from. So there could be multiple sheets in this Excel form. This is picking from the shovels tab in there. And I've also pointed out the unique field which links my object to my spreadsheet which is the equipment field. And that's it, I saved it, gave it a name. So I can then say, apply to, pick my object or my layer, and that will update. Now, as I recorded that step in a macro, I can then in the future just call it up through my user menu. I can also set my preferences up and my Vulkan preferences. You have an option here, update intelligent objects. So I can tell it to automatically do that every uh, minute or so, or every few seconds if I want. And as long as that design data, that layer is loaded, this will keep updating. So I should actually be able to see my equipment moving around in my pit. The second one, which is my ROM pad, that was a slightly different setup. So that was again, design intelligent objects, intelligent object editor. And I've picked my, my spec file here. It's the, it's the one I've already set up. But I pointed out my, my ROM pad, ODBC connection. And for this one, I've chosen the option, retrieve data tip information from database. And I've just told it to pick, so I put an asterisk in there for columns. So I wanted to record, report to me every piece of information in that sheet. And again, in this case, the unique uh, field in that spreadsheet is DEST, and that's recorded in the group of this polygon here. To apply that, I can just say apply to, polygons, layer. There we go. Once I've done that once, that's now attached to this data. So every time I load this layer in future, I just need to hover my mouse over that object and I'll see up-to-date information as to what tonnage is on that stockpile.
Thank you for watching and for more tips like these, check out the training page on our website. We also regularly post videos like these on our social channels.